In today's video, something I've been meaning to measure or test for a while now, and that is the boot up time of these recent model GPS cycling computers. Now I found that depending on which computer that I grab and put on the front of the bike for my ride, I can be waiting for over a minute for these things to start up. Now I'm not talking about satellite synchronization, I'm talking about cold boot all the way up to where the units start looking for those satellites and the sensors on my bike. It's quite a bit of difference between these units. So today, on test, 16 different cycling GPS computers from six different manufacturers, all which have had their firmwares updated to the most recent version. I've also had them on and in the sun outside for at least half an hour. So they do have the correct time and some satellite synchronization before doing this test. And they're mostly fully charged. Let's have a look at the results now. Okay, to save some time, I'll do an overlay of most of the units on screen here. We have 15 units. And within the first few seconds, we have the smaller units coming online. We have the Sigma Rocks, the Brighton Rider S500, the Garmin Edge 130 Plus, and the Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. From there, all the other Edge units come online. And the last one there being the Edge 1030, which comes online about now. Alrighty, a few more seconds and the Element Bolt, Bolt 2, and the Stages Dash M200, Stages Dash, or the Stages Slash Giant Dash L200 come online. 34 seconds for those, 37 and 37 for the other two that have just popped up on screen. From there, the Karoo 1 and the Element Roam come online. Karoo just doing a little bit of a shuffle before getting ready. 48 seconds for both of those. And from here, it's the Karoo 2 that we're waiting on. Now we'll give that a few more seconds. It's just about to do its thing. Well, okay, while the Hammerhead Karoo 2 does its thing, what you're not seeing on screen is the Stages Dash L50. That comes in at 32 seconds, but I didn't have enough room on screen for that. Okay, Karoo, what are you up to? Let's check back in. We are almost ready to... Okay, look, I'll fast forward this video through to 1 minute 47 because that's how long it takes for the Karoo 2 to start up. Some very interesting results there, which I'll put up on screen here in table form. And I think we can all agree a minute 47 is a little bit too long to wait for a bike computer to start up before we go for our rides. A few things of note, this was a test of full power on, not wake from sleep mode. Some of these units do support sleep mode, which I think is absolutely brilliant. You press the power button and they're on almost instantly. Not all GPS units are created equal. Some are very fully featured, some are, well, have a very basic subset of features. And we saw those units turn on within a few seconds. Another thing of note is that the times you're seeing here today may and possibly will change with the next firmware update for any of these units. If you own any of these units or another cycling GPS, I'll ask you to do exactly the same test as I have here with the unit that you have. Time it from power on to starting up and post your results in the comments below with which unit you have. I'm keen to see if there's much variance between the units that I have and others have as well. What I'd like to see is that magic 30 second mark be the benchmark for starting these things up. One minute's pushing it, over a minute 30, definitely pushing my patience. That 30 second mark, I can live with. And with that, I'm keen to see the comments and results from everybody else. Again, post them below and I'll check them out. As always, thumbs up for this video if you found it interesting. Hit subscribe to support this channel and we'll see you below in the comments.